Hi there. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. And what do these cards have to say today? We've got a uh, Queen of Sword. Death. Hierophant. Moon. Empress. Star. Queen of Coin. Four of Wands. All right. It's interesting mix of energies. Quite a few um, people involved in this situation here for your person. Uh, I feel like your person is thinking of you uh, with this Empress energy. Uh, their current energy, Empress, uh, in, in the star right next to it. There's something, um, God, there's hope here. Something about um, reconnecting with you. Uh, there's something regal about your energy uh, in wanting more of it. Uh, with this four wands, four wands in their heart space, uh, there's some sort of, they feel very connected to you on a soul level. Uh, and I feel like they're starting to understand it more or trying to or they're trying to at least make sense of this connection like what is this connection all about uh it's like mysterious it's like why um they're questioning like why does this connection affect me so much why is it like unforgettable uh, i'm hearing that song uh, unforgettable in every way um, definitely not a singer here, but I think that, who's that, Frank Sinatra or somebody that sings that song? Very, um, very romantic, very, um, dreamy-like energy. And interesting how that's coming through because what Spirit most wants us to know is this moon energy. So they may be actually dreaming of you. They may be appearing, in, you may be appearing in their dreams and they may be appearing in your dreams. Uh, there's something about this, this dreamy energy here. Um, and, and they're figuring, they're figuring out this connection. Like there's something about this connection. Maybe for a while they couldn't quite put their finger on it. Like what is, like what is this connection all about? Like why, why is it so intense? Um, why is it, yeah, I keep getting the unforgettable. Uh, there's something about this Queen of Swords death hierophant, though. They may be um, extracting themselves out of a karmic situation. Um, whether, you know, there's something about, this is... This is, you know, I'm hearing divine timing, but, you know, sometimes divine timing uh, for people is, like, annoying. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, sometimes it's like, yeah, I don't know why. But there's something about um, just saying divine timing can be um, triggering for some people. But it's it's not meant to be a trigger. This is meant to be, like... Um, Things are happening in your person's um, world or environment that, like, it feels like a karmic situation naturally coming to a close. Like, it just, because it's time. It's time for this karmic closure is what I'm getting. And, and it's like your energy is in this mix somehow. Um, what's happening what's happening in their world is definitely like closing out old contracts um whether it's soul contracts spiritual contracts whether it's a you know a um, marriage ending or divorce ending or um some sort of whatever it, whatever that consists of it will be different for everyone if this is your reading you'll know exactly what that means like karmic closure something that was um 
not necessarily interfering in your connection, but, but something that um, was a barrier to your union um, is coming to a close. Like I'm just getting karmic closure, whatever that karmic means to you. Again, if this is your reading, and if this is your reading, you'll know. Uh, but let's clarify. Current energy, this empress, like you, you are in your person's thoughts, you are in your person's dreams, you are in your person's heart, thoughts, mind, you know, mind, body, spirit. It's like they can't um, shake you, you know, even if they tried, like, you know, even if it got too intense, like, and they didn't understand it and they tried to be like, okay, let's just forget about this, um, connection or tried to, uh, ghost you or whatever it may be. The divine always brought you back together in some, you know, um, coincidental way, you know, quote unquote coincidence, you know, there are no, so there is no such thing as coincidences, but I feel like there's been a lot of synchronicities that occur, um, that have occurred over the time that you were first drawn together, because that also was um, a series of coincidences, uh, is what I'm getting here. Uh, all right, let's pull a card for Empress, uh, Three of Cup energy. So maybe, you know, Three of Cups is like a celebration, like like um, joining of uh, people that um, have the same goals in mind. Have this like there's a deep friendship there. I know oftentimes uh, the the Three of Cups can be like a third party situation, and that's I feel like with this karmic connection, there was something that was um, something that was a, a barrier like there was a barrier um to this connection but things are falling into place naturally like naturally and beautifully is what i'm getting here like it's like all of you can come to a peaceful resolution this is happening for the higher what is it like the higher good of all like for the best like everyone will be satisfied with the closure of this karmic situation. Everyone will be uh, blessed along the way. It'll be it'll be um, time to celebrate. Everyone will be able to get along here. Uh, you know, this threes, the, the threes, Trinity. You know, it's like you, me, us, past, present, future. However you view uh, the Trinity, um, mind, body, spirit. There's something about a wholeness here um and maintaining maintaining faith um you know and i feel like i just lost my breath there i feel like there's something about your energy that takes your person's breath away it's like if you've ever like um thought of your person and and just like <gasps> like there's something about this connection takes your person's breath away uh, the star energy, uh, two of swords. I feel like these decisions your person is making, these crossroads that are coming up, these opportunities are just, they're happening naturally. It's like we don't even have to um, know the answers. They just like come naturally. Like this two of swords, she's, she's blindfolded. Like she doesn't have to... Um, know why things are happening it's just things are just happening you know star the star energy is very much like um divine guidance divine timing divine like it's like we don't have to question things anymore we don't have to wonder anymore like okay what do we do here or how do we fix this or the, i feel like that type of energy is leaving the situation because things are happening naturally because it is the proper time for this. I'm getting, uh, what is the quote? Like, um, there's a, there is, um, a season for everything. There is a, a, a time, a place and a season, uh, is what I'm getting. If things are coming into fruition, it is time. It is time for this union. It is time for the greatest fulfillment here. This five of wands, though, I'm feeling like, you know, well, fives for me are definitely about change. Uh, five of wands, hierophant change. I feel like what once was a struggle or once one, once 
what 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 once was a, a competition or or a struggle or some sort of um, um, confusion or um, I feel like that's lifting. Let's pull another on that because I feel like that that type of energy is lifting. This Queen of Swords Death Hierophant I feel like is a natural closure of that type of energy, like the the not knowing, the third party, the, the competition, the, um, you know, things, that's closing. That is closing out naturally here. Eight of Cups. Yes, there's, there's movement here. There's leaving something behind and walking towards this union, leaving that um, whatever that work, you know, I'm hearing competition. Sometimes five of wands can be about competition, but really, you know, on a soul level, are we really in competition with each other? We're all one. We're all equals. We're all humans. We're all souls living humans, human lives. You know, it's like we even, you know, this karmic connection, you know, it's there's something, you know, that was also a part of this. Uh, soul journey here like it's all meant to be here this two of cup energy yes definitely your person is is coming back to you returning to you to join forces have union here look at star again wow isn't that lovely let's pull another we got star here twice this is in their heart space it's like they're feeling this now they're feeling like yes this is meant to be there's like a a well-being about this type of energy what a lovely reading here uh, Ace of Sword, the truth is being revealed. It's almost like the mind, the all minds are are in agreement here. Even if it was third party, it's like okay, the the karmic is okay with this closure. Your person is okay with this closure. You are okay with this closure. This new beginning, this um realization, this truth being revealed, this new beginning. Uh, Ten of Cups. Yes, it's bringing in happiness for everyone. Everyone will be satisfied with the results of this karmic closure, um, walking away from the past and walking towards the future. Uh, it's important, though, to live in the now is what I'm hearing. And that's interesting because the Eight of Pentacles is kind of like that, you know, like just focus on what's right in front of you. Uh, try, try not to think too much or overthink the past or overthink the future. Like right now, um, things are falling into place. There's, there's, the transition is happening, happening naturally. Wow. I love this energy. Absolutely beautiful reading. If this is your reading, you are absolutely blessed. Uh, the death and the fool is definitely closure, walking away from the past and stepping into the new. Things are changing on a, on a, physical level on a spiritual level here uh two of wands i love this these twos two of cups two of sword two of wands like this connections here partnerships uh then and, and things are coming out um out of the dark here uh page of cups definitely going to be a communication here bottom of this deck we've got the three of wand bottom of this deck we've got queen of cups I feel like everyone is going to um, end up satisfied with the conclusion of the old and the beginning of the new. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful um, energy here. All right. Uh, if this was your reading, if you're still watching, please do like, subscribe, comment. Uh, it's very helpful. Uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a lover's oracle in closing. What does the lover's oracle want to add to this reading? Shall we just pull one? Let's just pull one. We have forgiveness. Forgive and forget. Life is too precious to waste. The mystery. All will be, all will be revealed in good time. Allow the mystery to unfold. Cast away your concerns and come rest in my embrace, speak your truth. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. What else do we have? Let's get one more. Let's get one more and then we'll do bottom of the deck here. Ooh, look at this. Divine timing. When the time is right, you will know. Trust all will turn out well. 
surrender, let go, and all will work out. Peace be with you. Bye now.